Well, welcome back to the Frontington and Backwards Railway. Today I'm just going to give you a quick demo of the Arduino-based DC controller I've put together. It uses a, a motor driver and a Bluetooth chip so that I can communicate with it using a simple app that I've made for my phone. And rather than directly controlling the speed, I'm actually setting the acceleration, which means the train should always start and stop nice and smoothly. can then put the brakes on and bring it to a stop. And then I can change direction. Of course you have to anticipate what you want to do otherwise you'll overshoot, just like the real thing. Just adds a, an extra dimension to the experience, much like if you were using DCC. You can see we, we can get some really nice slow speeds here because we're using the Arduino's built-in PWM capability. That's uh, pulse width modulation. The main drawback at the moment, though, is that this setup doesn't have any back EMF sensor. That, that just means that the, the Arduino can't automatically adjust the power depending on how much load the motor is under, which I know some controllers do. And this means the loco tends to slow down when it goes around corners or goes up a hill. If anyone has any ideas on how I can do that with an Arduino, do let me know. I'm not going to go into detail here about how I put all this together, but I will put a link in the description to a full write-up uh, in case you are interested. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.